Today, I want to change the oil on a 2021 Toyota Venza or Toyota RAV4. What you'll need to do this is five quarts of 0W16 motor oil and also a brand new oil filter. There'll be a link for both these in the description below from Amazon. The first thing you want to do is to locate the point on the car where to jack up the front end. So if you slide under the car, you'll see this metal cross member right here. And this is where you're going to put your jack so you can jack up the front end safely. Now that the jack's in position, I'm going to slowly bring up the jack until it touches the metal crossbar, line it up. Now raise it all the way up so we can get the jack stands underneath it. With the front end raised up, we'll go to the side of the car and we'll slide one of these jack stands underneath and we'll try to touch this pinch weld right here. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now we're gonna pop the hood so we can access the top of the engine and pour the oil in. To do so, open up your driver's side door. There's gonna be a latch right here, right next to your uh, gas button. If you pop this, it unlatches the hood. Now we can go to the front and open it. To open the hood, slide your hand in here and slide to the left until you feel a little toggle here. Pull that to the left, open it. Now once you're up, take your stand here and slide it down the hole on the left so your hood's supported. To access the oil drain plug and oil filter, you're gonna to need to remove four 10 millimeter uh, screws from this little plastic covering right here. There's one back here. One here. One here, and one up front. So now here is your oil drain plug, and your oil filter's right back here. Now to take off the oil drain plug right here, you're gonna need a 14 millimeter socket. Place it on there, make sure you're loosening it up off there, and pull that all the way out. You're gonna wanna put a plastic uh, oil pan underneath to catch all the oil that comes out. With a new crush washer on your old drain plug, you're gonna to wanna to first start to hand thread it till it's on, then take a torque wrench, set the 30 foot pound, and you're gonna to wanna to finish it off with a 14 millimeter socket. And that's tight enough. The next thing we're gonna do is take off the oil filter, which can be kind of snug. So you may wanna get one of these uh, adjustable wrench tools, which I'll put in the description below, and kinda grip it. And you wanna pull it towards yourself to loosen it up so you can then finish it off with your hand. There we go. So this may drip some oil too, so you may wanna move your pan slightly underneath that as you open it up. So we'll let this finish draining. So now with the new oil filter, you're gonna wanna make sure the rubber seal on there is uh, lubricated. So take your finger with some of the old oil, kind of rub it around the seal there. Then you're gonna wanna put it on and you're gonna to wanna to tighten it till it's uh, just touching. Then you're gonna go three quarters of a revolution in addition to that. So there's just touching there. I'm gonna to try to go three quarters of a revolution beyond that. Good there. Now we're gonna open up the engine oil. 
put our funnel in and pour in 4.8 quarts of 0W16 motor oil. Another quart to go. Now that's done, place your oil cap back on. Now you can reinstall the plastic underneath the uh, car. You can lower your car back down, then I take it for a short drive, and then you're gonna check your engine oil level right here to make sure it's looking good. That's it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If there's not anything else, leave a thumbs up. Thanks.